You basically need your phone to be surgically sewn to your hand because that's how often you're gonna be posting to Facebook. Having a baby is like the jackpot of all Facebook likes. or should I say hey all you Instagram now famous people out there so since I posted my how to become Instagram famous video a few months back I got a humongous response now I know Facebook is for the 50 and older crowd now but since we're all still looking for acceptance no matter what platform we're on I decided why not why not give you my tips and tricks on how to get the most Facebook likes what kind of posts you should be posting what kind of things you should be saying and how often I can guarantee that if you follow every single one of these tips and tricks your Facebook notifications are gonna be going off the charts your Facebook bell is gonna be ringing ding ding and every second of the day So the wonderful thing about having a boyfriend or a girlfriend is that you have so many picture possibilities and post possibilities. Not only will you get that engagement post of he proposed or just a cute little like photo of your hand with the ring on it and how big the rock is hopefully. And once you get engaged, you get engagement photos and they have to be profesh. Of course, next comes the wedding photos. I don't know anyone who just doesn't love to look through someone's wedding album already well this is better because it's on Facebook likes are gonna be in the at least triple digits there are so many anniversaries you can celebrate with your significant other on Facebook your first date anniversary the day that you said I love you anniversary the day you were engaged anniversary your wedding anniversary can you say could ching in Facebook likes So whenever you meet someone, even if you said like only two words, okay? Friend them, immediately. Get their name, you've gotta make sure you get their first and last name so that you can find them. So that you can immediately friend them. And you know why? Because the more friends you have, the more eyes you have on your posts. The more eyes you have on your posts, the more likes you're gonna get. And maybe you don't have to speak to them, but you can know them through another friend who knows them. Having a baby is like the jackpot of all Facebook likes. Imagine the possibilities of all the photo ops you can get. Not only when the baby comes, but before the baby arrives. Each month of your pregnancy, you can post your cute little baby bump. You can say, oh, it's the size of a lima bean. Now it's the size of an avocado. Because that gives you at least nine photos. And if you wanna go the extra mile, you can do every two weeks. That's not overkill, okay, so don't worry. Right before you're about to pop, you wanna get those pregnancy photos done. You want a little flower crown in your hair, maybe a loose fitting dress or muumuu, you're gonna get so many likes from just those pregnancy photos alone. Another post that is gonna rack in the likes when you're pregnant is the gender reveal. Whether it's a gender reveal photo or even better, the gender reveal video. Because who does not love to see the disappointment in the mother's eyes when they find out they're gonna have a boy instead of a girl? The real fun comes when you have the baby. Because you know why? That is when your likes are gonna flood in. So of course you're gonna wanna post that birth announcement photo. Like you in the hospital, of course. And if you want to, you can also do like hashtag no makeup, but put a little bit of makeup on your face so it looks kinda like natural, but not, you know? This is gonna be all over the internet, guys. So you wanna look your absolute best. Likes are gonna be probably in the quadruple digits when you make this birth announcement. Like this is when the floodgates really open for all those likes and those hearts because you're going to be posting photos every day of your little baby and how they're changing even though no one else can see the changes including in the caption he's growing up so fast with a little crying emoji who cannot love that post along with all the one month posts two month posts three month posts all the way up to about 50 month posts you are going to basically turn your facebook wall into a baby book but this is the reason why you have kids in the first place right 
So I know Instagram was the first one to do this. They have the Instagram stories where you can just post throughout your day funny little videos and cute little pictures. Like I am so excited because Facebook does this now. Facebook stories is where it's at because that is where you stay current and relevant. Whether you're just making a bowl of soup or at Target getting some canned mushrooms, people love to see that. So it doesn't matter if it's important or not. So you know the little dashes at the top that show basically how many things are posted in your story. You want those little dashes to turn into dots because that is how full you want your story to be. You basically want people to feel like they're watching a boring home video of your entire day. That is what your Facebook story is for. So whenever it comes to family gatherings, you wanna be on your phone the entire time. You wanna make sure you capture every single moment. Say it's your kid's birthday party. You wanna capture every single moment so that you can post it to Facebook because people love swiping through about 182 photos of your kid opening birthday presents. That is exciting stuff. And you might be worried like, you're like, well, I'm posting so many photos of my kid. Like what if someone that I don't know gets a hold of these photos? Who cares? You're getting the likes, right? So don't worry if you're posting millions of photos of your kid in their underwear because it's not like this stuff is public. It's only on the internet and only your friends can see these posts even though you friended like a thousand strangers. It's okay. Aside from your activity like posting updates or pictures, you need to be spending 12 hours a day reacting to other people's, other friends' posts, liking things, hearting things, laughing at things, commenting on things, <gasps> in things. And I don't care if you're with your friends or your family because in the society we live in, it is totally acceptable. And it's not rude. Even if you're absolutely glued to your Facebook newsfeed, your friends are gonna understand. The more Facebook posts, the more likes. It doesn't take a rocket surgeon to figure out the numbers. You know what you get when you get the most likes? Nothing. So I hope all of you found these tips and tricks helpful. Just so you know, I will be doing a master class on social media. You can sign up in the link below if you like. It's only gonna cost you $5,000 for five hours. You will find success if you sign up for this class. Until next time, I'll see all you Facebook famous people later.